So, so looking at uh, the rest of the landscape for where Drew Holiday could land, of course, one of those teams is actually Los Angeles with the Clippers, where Drew Holiday is, of course, from. I mean, do you see this being a situation where he stays out west, or or do you think there is potential that a team like Boston could get in the mix for uh, trade discussions? Well, I think at this stage of his career, what is he, like 14 years in, came out after his freshman year at UCLA. I thought he was making a mistake, but it's turned out to be a great move for him. Um, uh, but 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 I think he's at a point now where he's going to really evaluate along with his wife, Lauren, kind of the, the situation that's best for him and his family. And, you know, you got the Clippers, Ty Lue, players coach. You got Kawhi, you got Paul George, got some, some really good talent. You got a great owner and Steve Ballmer about to open up a new – uh, a building in another year or two here out in Inglewood, in Los Angeles. So, you know, I mean, if I'm Drew, you know, uh, and, and look, this is a different uh, Milwaukee to Clipper dynamic than what I went through back in because I was going from, you know, a great Bucks organization to Donald Sterling. So that, that's a whole different thing. You're going from the Bucks to a Steve Ballmer. That's a good situation. Boston, that's a good situation. The tradition, uh, the talent, the wings, and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and, and Porzingis and what they've got to put out there. He's got some really good options right now to look at. We talk about Miami, Philly. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, if they're uh, willing to, to, to part with some of their assets, uh, you know, he could be a thorn in our side in the Eastern Conference. We're hoping that he winds up out west so we don't have to see him because he's still got some some really good years left ahead of him where he can do a lot of damage uh, against you. But um, he's got some great options. And so I, I'm I'm thinking Portland is going to, um, you know, especially with Scoot Henderson being drafted, it, it, you know, adhere to what we're hearing about right now, move into a, to a contender. And, um, and again, for, for, for my money, I would hope that it's uh, out west as opposed to one of the powerhouses here in Eastern Conference. But if that happens to be the case, that's what makes the sport beautiful, man. It's all about competition and you roll a ball out until you see what happens.